Today's window blinds come in many styles. Roller shades, roll-up shades, pleated shades, and horizontal blinds, to name just a few. The advantage of horizontals is that you can leave the blind drawn and simply tilt the slats to let in tons of light, a bit of light, or no light at all. Most manufacturers make their wood horizontal blinds from basswood. It's a hardwood, so it's durable. It's lightweight, so the blind doesn't end up weighing a ton, and it absorbs wood stain evenly. First, they feed the rough wood through a planer. They cut it down to 5.3 centimeters, the width of the slats. Then, following a laser guideline, they trim off any excess and square the piece using a straight line rip saw. Now the piece goes through a machine that's specially designed to cut thin slats of wood. Its sharp steel blades slice right through, creating up to 15 slats, each four millimeters thick. Here's the piece of basswood before slicing and after. The slats now pass under an oscillating sander to prep them for staining. After cutting them to the width of the window, workers spray wood stain on both sides of each slat, then a coat of sealer to lock in the color. Once the sealer dries, they sand the slats manually to prepare them for a final protective coat of lacquer. Next, using a die, they punch two slots in each slat 15 centimeters in from each end. These are for the color-coordinated cords that will operate the blind. Now for the assembly. They hang ladder-shaped cords called ladder tapes from the blind's head rail, then slide one slat onto each rung. Then they thread the blind cord through the slots in the slats, hooking it up to the control mechanisms hidden in the head rail. A cord dangles down the front for raising and lowering the blind. They also mount a wand or cord for tilting the slats. The excess ladder tape is tucked into a bottom rail. To make aluminum blinds, they start with long strips of preformed steel. These will be the blind's head rail and bottom rail. Workers cut them to the required length, which is the width of the window. They make holes in the head rail for the cord lock, the device that locks the blind to the desired height, and the tilter, the mechanism that angles the slats. Now they install those components. The cord lock snaps right into the hole, no hardware required. That's known as a pressure fit. They pressure fit the tilter as well. Next come the tape rolls, through which they run the ladder tapes. They cut the appropriate length and color of blind cord, then thread it through the cord lock. The tilter turns a rod which turns the tape roll, which tilts the ladder tapes, angling the slats. And speaking of slats, they're cut from rolls of two and a half centimeter wide aluminum. Workers simply feed a roll into the forming machine, then the rest of the process is automated. First, the machine gives the flat metal a semicircular curve. Then it punches cord holes, and then, as you see on the far left of the screen, cuts it into slats. But that's not all. This same machine also assembles the blind, sliding a slat onto each rung of the ladder tapes. All that's left to do by hand is thread the blind cord and install the bottom rail. From this point on, it's just window dressing.